I swear by this perfume. Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber apparently live in this building. Like I forget that there are like chill things that you can do in the city. It's gonna be a little Wow, I think this might be the first time I've spoken today and it's one o'clock. My voice just sounded really weird. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel if you're new around here. My name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. My hair is wet, not greasy. I just got out of the shower and I'm starting a little weekend in my life vlog. I went out last night to dinner with a friend and then we went to a little house warming party, apartment warming party. You get the point. And then we tried to go to a bar but couldn't get into the bar because the bars in New York are absolutely insane right now due to like all the COVID restrictions being lifted. So then I just came back here and I slept in and it's one o'clock now and I'm literally just now getting my day started. Made a coffee, of course, stuff. It's Americano, not the best one I've ever made. I think I used the wrong pod in this, but it is what it is. I'm actually going to Brooklyn Domino Park, which is actually a really, really pretty park in Brooklyn. It like sits on the water. It's very bougie. It's I think newer within the past few years or so but I'm going to the park to just kind of like lay out and enjoy the sun and read with my friend Kim we're gonna do a bunch of rooftops during the day today and then I think we're gonna push off the rooftops off until later tonight because my friend Taylor gets back into town and she wants to come with so we like shifted our plans over and now we're just gonna go outside and enjoy the sun so I need to get ready for that I don't think that I'm gonna do makeup or anything like that but I do need some pre-sun essentials so first things first lotion this is my go-to if you guys don't use the CeraVe product you're missing out I use their face wash and their lotion and I've used them for years and I don't plan on changing my skincare routine anytime soon because my skin loves this stuff first things first is lotion all over my face and now I need to let that dry for a bit while I let that dry I need to brush my teeth because I haven't done that today yet this is arguably going to be a really weird combination with my coffee but you gotta do what you gotta do My teeth have been brushed. Next thing that I've been going in for for skincare routine is the Elta MD Skincare Tinted Sunscreen Moisturizer. Guys, if you're not wearing sunscreen on your face, you're doing something wrong. I like this one because it has like a tinted color to it. So it's almost like you're putting on light foundation, but you're not. And it also matches your skin color because it's like a tinted moisturizer rather than a foundation. So it doesn't look weird and it gives you some kind of color so like you're not as pale as you would have been before i think this is the palest i've ever been during the summer and that's just because obviously we live in the city and when i was living at home i had the pool in the backyard so i was never pale but your girl is pale this summer i forgot to do this i put this in my hair after every shower it's a split end seal i shared this in my favorites video that i did a month ago i think you just put two big dollops of the thing in your hand and then you run it through the bottom of your hair and it's supposed to help with split ends. When I went to get my hair cut a few months ago, I need to get it done, cut again. My hair's been growing like crazy. When I got my hair cut a few months ago, the lady that cut my hair said that the ends of my hair were really, really dry, dead, and I really feel like I've noticed a difference with using this stuff. I'll have it linked down below, but it's just the Orbe split end seal beautiful color treatment and i feel like it's helped the ends of my hair not be so dry and it helps my hair like look 10 times healthier I recommend also smells just like really good so that's a win in my book i love when hair products smell like you just got out of the salon last thing that we're gonna do well first i'm gonna put some lip thing on and last thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put on perfume and i actually want to talk to you guys about this perfume shout out to dossier for partnering with me on today's video this is the floriental vanilla perfume like i said from the dossier brand essentially what dossier is doing is they're taking luxe bougie fancy perfume brands and they're making them more affordable so if you go on their website you'll see that all of their perfumes are supposed to mock some sort of like really expensive bougie perfume so for this one this one's floriental vanilla this is their scent but it's supposed to mock the ysl black opium and i personally think they did like a really really good job and it's super close to black opium this smells expensive like this smells like it should be approximately 
like $150, $200. I don't know how much the YSL one is, but you can buy their perfumes on their website from $30 to $50, I believe. And it comes in this cute little packaging, just very simple. It also comes with a little card that tells you about your perfume. So, like I said, this one is the Floriental Vanilla. It has top notes of mandarin, pear, pink pepper, licorice, middle notes of jasmine, orange blossom, base notes of cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee, and it's inspired by the YSL Black Opium. So I would highly recommend if you guys are in need of some new perfume, but you don't want to pay designer prices and you don't want to pay the really, really expensive prices, check out Dossier. I'm going to have them linked down below. Guys, I'm serious. I swear by this perfume. I've only had it for a few days and I keep putting it on and just like sitting here and smelling myself because it's that good. And the fact that it's just it smells this good and it's this affordable I feel like is extremely unheard of so run to their website check it out they have a bunch of different perfumes that you can choose from men women and unisex scents so go check that out okay also look at how good it just looks sitting on my bathroom countertop I feel like it blends in really well this is where I had the previous perfume that I was using and I just used it kind of as a decor piece so I love the fact that the packaging is like very simple minimal and like looks good out because I also don't have room for it in my medicine cabinet. Yeah, that's another plus is that the packaging is like really pretty and very simple. It is not something that you need to hide. Okay, so now that I've done my skincare and my hair care and everything like that, I'm gonna go ahead and pack my bag and then we're gonna meet at the Brooklyn L station. So I just wanna make sure to be ready to go for whenever she says that she's heading there. She does live a little bit farther away from me so I'll have a little bit more time once she says that she leaves because I only live one stop over on the L and she lives in Hell's Kitchen, so it's like a hike. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready to do that, and I am also need to finish up this coffee. It's just so dark, I don't know if I can do it today. Okay, bag essentials for the park include the Brooklyn in bag. I bought this picnic blanket off of Amazon a really long time ago, and I honestly never really use it that much. I showed it, I've showed it in a video before, because I've used it on my rooftop, but I wanna start using it more, because it's really nice and it's really big, so I'm bringing this, a water bottle, because it is hot as all get out today, and then obviously the book that I'll be reading. Made it to Domino Park here with Kim. Wow, she's stunning. <laughs> it's really hot outside, but the views are gorgeous. I'm glad we picked this park over any of the other ones because the other ones were gonna be extremely hot. The views, I have no clue what this thing is, those two things. Also, Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber apparently live in this building or they own an apartment in this building. So I've been told. Got back to my apartment a little while ago. Basically just to catch you guys up because I know I showed a few clips and talked to the camera a little bit, but I didn't do it too much. We were in Brooklyn today. We went to Domino Park to lay outside and read and like people watch and honestly just really enjoy the weather. After that, we went to Devotion, which is a fun, very chic, cool coffee shop in Brooklyn. Would highly recommend if you're in the area. They sell Costa Rican coffee, I think it is. Or maybe it's Colombian coffee. It might be Colombian coffee. But the inside of the coffee shop is really cool. They have a skylight. They have like a greenery wall. The coffee's really good. They sell tea. All of the things. So after that, I came back to my apartment. I took my second shower of the day because I felt like I just smelled bad and was really sweaty and sticky. and wanted to crawl into bed and you guys already know that I have a weird thing about street clothes in the bed but especially on top of that just like being sweaty in my bed is also I feel like really gross but I'm laying here I think I'm going out with some friends tonight we're gonna try to go to a rooftop but I don't know last night when we went out or tried to go out to the bars in the Lower East Side the lines to get into the bars were literally insane like absolutely absurd it would have taken us like two hours to try to get into the bars which is why we didn't end up going I ended up coming back here and just doing my skincare end up doing my skincare routine and just going to bed but i'm kind of afraid that the lines are going to be like that again that's just typical city 
fashion it was like that before the pandemic too just like lines outside the bars were insane but i feel like they're even more insane because people were kept inside for so long and everyone was so stir crazy that now that all the covid restrictions are lifted in new york people are going literally insane and like going out to bars every single night of the week and the lines are insane so we'll see what actually ends up happening we're not really sure but we did know that we wanted to go back to our apartments and like relax and chill for a little bit I don't think I'm gonna take a nap or anything because if I take a nap, I'm just gonna be out for the count for the night. But I'm just gonna like lay in bed and probably watch some Netflix. I tried to watch Disney Plus, but it wasn't loading for some reason. So I'm probably gonna find something on Netflix to watch and then just take a little brain break. Just relax for a little bit. Lord knows I need it. I can feel my body is like exhausted. And then I'll get back up, get ready again and figure out the plans for the night but just figured I'd give you guys a little update. Today was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed it. I was literally just talking to my friend about how I feel like we always think that every single weekend we need to have some sort of really elaborate plan, like we need to go shopping, we need to spend money, we need to go to these coffee shops, we need to go drinking, we need to go to rooftop bars, but every now and then like I forget that there are options to just like go sit in a park and read and it's honestly really nice and you can enjoy the views and you can enjoy like talking to your friends and you can enjoy people watching like i forget that there are like chill things that you can do in the city because i feel like sometimes city culture makes you feel like you need to be go 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 24 7 and you need to always have plans and you need to be doing something or you're missing out or you're wasting your time but every now and then it's just kind of nice to like take a step back and chill and that's what we pretty much did today and i really enjoyed it it was much needed which is all around like a really great and nice calming experience Good morning everyone. Happy Sunday. We're up and at them this morning. I just finished cleaning quite literally my entire apartment. It was a absolute wreck and I feel like that's just kind of like what I do on Sundays is I clean up a little bit. You know, we sanitize some things. Lysol is our best friend. So I just finished doing like the bathroom, this main area. My bedroom was a hot mess. That shirt is drying and I feel like I have my life a little bit more put together now. I am making some breakfast. I'm making some peanut butter toast because I literally have nothing in my fridge or my cabinets. Your girl needs to go to the store so bad because I can't eat like butter, you know what I mean? I'm actually currently making a grocery list on my phone. I was watching Carter's vlog. We're doing all of the Sunday things. I think the last time I checked in with you guys was when I went out or before I went out last night. I ended up going to my friend's apartment. We were gonna do a speakeasy or a rooftop or something, but it started raining, so rooftop was eliminated. And then we were gonna do a speakeasy and it just didn't end up happening. We ended up like fully like raging in their apartment, but like just the three of us, we were like dancing and singing and talking and it was so much fun. Way better than any club we could have gone to, to be honest. So that was a lot of fun. Had one too many tequila shots. And then I came back here and I woke up at like seven this morning and then I just like fell back asleep and woke back up again. And I did that until I got out of bed at 10. Now it's 11 o'clock. I'm trying to get my life together today. I have to take an exam for school. Um, on a textbook that I didn't buy and didn't use for the course because to be fair I Did all of the coursework and all of the course material without the need for the textbook So why would I buy the textbook and then I get to the last second to last module of the course and it's like here's an exam on modules one through six It's textbook based and I'm like do I really? potentially have to buy a 70 to 100 dollar textbook at the end of my course to take this exam. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting played a little bit, but it's fine. So that's a later problem. I'm gonna eat some breakfast and I think I'm gonna go for a walk outside. It's 70, 81 degrees, wow. And super sunny, no clouds in the sky. So I think while it's nice outside and while I have the energy, I'm gonna go for a walk. Not quite sure where yet and not quite sure what I'm gonna do. I thought about going to Whole Foods to get the groceries, but I think I might just do Amazon Prime delivery, Amazon Fresh delivery. I forgot what it's called. Just because I do have a lot that I need to get. I'm big into making grocery lists on my phone. And this isn't even all of it. I need to think of some meals for the week. Because I've been pausing HelloFresh. Which means that I've been having to make my own dinners. Which means I've been having to come up with my own ideas for dinner. Which has been a struggle. So I need to like go on Pinterest and search for yummy food to cook. So we'll see. But that's just kind of the plan for today. Also made a lot to this morning. You already know the drill. I'm ready to get my Sunday started. All right, I forgot to pick up the camera to tell you guys like what I was doing, but basically 
I'm just going for a walk. I'm walking to Union Square. I think I might go to Bath and Body Works because I think they have an annual sale going on right now and I'm almost out of my candles. So I'm headed there now. It's about a 25 to 30 minute walk from where I live. So it's like a good little exercise. Just enjoying the really nice weather out here and soaking up the sun. You're so different Cause others wouldn't even try Nobody ever took the time I get way too in my head About everything I do Figuring out what to say Cause it's so, so new But you've been so patient my camera right now and i feel like it's not gonna end well so maybe i shouldn't but you're on top of my water bottle which is on top of my tom ford book so this has the potential to not end well but we're gonna make this quick i just got back inside from like walking exploring new york you know being a city gal i went to union square to go to bath and body works and i got two candles i'll show you them also sorry this is so backlit okay i need to switch They're having like their annual or semi-annual sale or something like that where basically all of the candles are 14.95 12.95 something like that which is really cheap for these candles because they're normally 24.50 so like i bought two for the price of one pretty much and i was running out of candles but i love i love how they like change the packaging of their candles occasionally and this has to be one of my favorite candle packagings that they've come out with I just think it's really pretty and I feel like it's going to look really good in my apartment. So I got the Hibiscus Waterfalls, which essentially smells like fresh laundry, which is what I'm going for. I love the smell of fresh laundry, like laundry detergent, laundromats, anything to do with laundry. I think it smells so good, so I'm really excited to light this. I'm probably going to light this right after this little haul. And then I got the Rosewater and Ivy. Tell me that's not like gorgeous. And I think I've shared Rosewater and Ivy before. I don't know how to explain this, but they're both like very fresh scents. That's what I was going for when I went in there. And they also had sales on like everything else. So their smaller one wick candles, which I have two of left at this point, or kind of one, this one's running out, which is why I went to Bath and Body Works. Those were only $6. Some of them were 75% off. So less than $6 and then the others were $6, so that's a really good price for them. And personally, I think that they fill up the room really well. I know that sometimes one wick candles can be weird with the way that, like, sometimes they just don't really work that well. I don't know when the sale ends, so I'm not sure if it'll still be going on by the time this video goes up. But if it is, definitely check them out. I feel like these sales are very few and far between with Bath & Body Works lately. I feel like they used to do them all the time and they don't do them as much anymore. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. They're good gifts, you know. I just love a good candle anyways, so. From Union Square, I decided to walk to Washington Square Park because I just didn't wanna like cut my day out on the city short, so I ended up going to Washington Square Park. That park's always very interesting. You see all types of people, all walks of life, many different things going on. It's like the perfect park to go and people watch is how I would describe Washington Square Park. You you just get like people on all, all walks of life, all paths of life show up there so there was that i did have like a really weird interaction so i was sitting on a bench this is gonna be a little rant we're gonna go on a little rant for a second because i just think that this is creepy and people should not do this i was sitting in washington square park on one of the benches i was reading my book and you know had headphones in the noise canceling headphones so like i could barely hear anything around me i was reading a book fully zoned in on the book and this dude like comes up and sits right next to me maybe like two three inches away and i already thought that, that was really weird and he, he looks at me he goes can i sit here and i was like sure like it's a bench you know what i mean I, what am i gonna say no i was like yeah sure and so i continued reading and he like looks over to me leans into me goes what's your name how are you what's your name and i was like hey like i'm sorry i'm just trying to read I wasn't trying to be rude, but the dude was just giving me creepy vibes and I'm obviously not gonna tell him my name. So I was just like, hey, like, sorry, I'm just trying to read. And he was like, what's your book? What's the title of your book? What's your book about? Kept leaning closer and closer. He was like, you seem like really invested. And I was just trying to like, ignore him. He was like, oh, you're just trying to ignore me. Really was like up my ass at this point, like very close to me. I had headphones and I was clearly trying to read, was not trying to have a conversation with him and he just wasn't taking the hint. So eventually I literally had to physically get up off of the bench 
and leave the park because he would not leave me alone. And I just don't understand that. I don't understand that people, I don't understand people that don't know how to take a hint. Like I don't get it. If I'm sitting there, I'm like, hey, sorry, I'm just trying to read my book or I'm ignoring you. Don't continue to scoot closer to me and then keep trying to talk to me and like be creepy. It's creepy at the end of the day. Like at first, maybe you're not trying to be creepy. Maybe you're just trying to be friendly. That's one thing. But when I tell you, I'm like, hey, sorry, like, just trying to read and you're persistent, it's then creepy, okay? It's then creepy. And I try to like not judge people. You never know where someone comes from or what their mental health status is or things that they've experienced in life. So I try not to be like a judgy person. You know, I'm not the type of person that likes to be like mean or rude to other people, but to a certain extent, I'm just, I was uncomfortable. Like I was getting physically uncomfortable. Like the closer he was scooting to me, the more he was talking to me, he was just really up my ass. Like I was, that's, that's the only way I know how to explain it. And it was just really creepy. And I like got up to walk away. And when I got to walk away, he was like, oh man, like you're walking away from me, like all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, what did you expect? You were creeping me out. I was trying not to, I was like not trying to talk to you. I told you respectfully, I'm just trying to read my book. And you were still, being creepy. I would, do you think I was just gonna sit there? Like, I'm confused. So that's my rant. People that can't take a hint, people that think it's cute to be creepy, it's really not cute to be creepy. Take the hint, stop talking, maybe remove yourself from the situation. For me, I was just so uncomfortable that I literally physically left the entire park. I didn't move benches, I moved, I left the entire park. And then I went to Sweet Green and then I ate my salad in Tompkins Square Park. <laughs> and then I came back here. And I was like, that was just enough of a New York City experience for the day. It's enough of public parks, public New York City people. I'm over it. We're gonna go back to my apartment. This is my safe space. So that was my, that's my rant. Don't be creepy, take the hint. Now I am sitting in here. I actually have to take a test for school that I was talking about this morning that I don't have a textbook for. I need to look a little bit more into that to see if I actually need the textbook. So maybe dropping $70 on the textbook the very last week of the class, aka I, I literally haven't used all the entire class duration. Now I'm gonna have to spend the money on it just to take this exam. That's so stupid. So I gotta look a little bit more into that and then I don't know what I'm gonna be up to for the rest of the day, but definitely not going to any more public parks. That's that's off the agenda for the day. We're done. No more. I just did a thing in Canvas where you can basically put in like the what if grades. So on Canvas where there's like the grade section, um, all of my assignments for the entire class are automatically put in there with how many points they're worth. So you can do like, if I got this grade on this assignment, what would my total grade be for the class? And so just out of curiosity, I put in like, what if I got 100% on all of my other assignments, but got a zero on this exam. Granted, I don't think that I would get a full zero. I just don't know if I'm going to get the best grade on it if I don't have the book. I would get like a 75% in the class. I did not realize that this exam weighed this much. So I'm going to have to look into it a little bit more and I might actually end up having to splurge on the book. I just think it's stupid. Like what's the point of making an exam 100% textbook based? Like that's dumb. It's also timed. It's like you only have like 75 minutes to take it. Whereas like the, and you only have one attempt, whereas like all of the quizzes for the entire class have been like unlimited amount of time. You can retake it until you get the score that you want. So I just, the, I feel like this exam is coming out of the woodwork. Like it doesn't really make sense for the rest of the class curriculum. So I'm just overall confused by it and kind of at this point praying that I do somewhat well on it because I'm really not trying to fail this class. I have like a 94% in the class right now, which is really good and I want to keep it at that frick. I feel... I feel like the pressure is on. This book is literally $75. I don't know if that's worth it. I was kind of hoping that they would have it on the Kindle so that I could just download it straight to my iPad and then use it from there. I was also hoping that it wouldn't be $75 and the Kindle version isn't available and um, it's not cheap either. So we're gonna see what comes out of this that really sucks though okay update i was able to find the e-textbook version on chegg for only 20 dollars a month so i'm just gonna spend the 20 bucks and obviously cancel the subscription i can can it, i can cancel it at, like any time so i'm just gonna spend the 20 bucks to purchase the textbook to be able to look at the freaking pictures to be able to take the exam so dumb and i don't understand it again but you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. So doing that now, I'm gonna take the exam and then I will update you guys in a bit once I have exhausted my brain from this information. Finished my exam. I didn't do too bad on it, but I honestly didn't do too great for it being an open 
textbook exam. I kind of feel like the questions were like trick questions. It was one of those exams where multiple of the answers could have been the correct one. So that was a little bit frustrating, especially just because it's like, why? what's the point of making an open notes exam if you're just gonna make it like extremely hard and complicated? I didn't quite get that. But I'm really glad that I was able to rent the textbook because it was definitely needed for this exam. I would not have been able to take it without it. So I was able to actually rent it from Chegg, I think I mentioned previously, for like 20 bucks. And then just cancel my Chegg membership right after and they actually ended up refunding me the full $20 that I used to rent it. So I kind of hacked the system a little bit unintentionally. It was an unintentional hack, but... So I got like the textbook for free when I needed it. It worked in my favor, I don't know. But the exam's finished. I ordered groceries, I ended up doing Amazon Fresh instead of going to like Target or Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or something just because it's easier and everything is right there. And it was gonna be a big grocery haul anyway. So I did that. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I need to put on my shoes. Sorry that you can see a portion of my bed. I know that I spent the day walking around the city, but I'm honestly just kind of in the mood to get like a workout in. Nothing too intense, but I'm just feeling like motivated to go to the gym. I've just been feeling a little bit gross lately just with the amount of stuff that I've been eating and you know, we all have our own insecurities. So I'm gonna go to the gym and get a workout in even if it's less cardio and more like abs and weights and stuff. And they close at seven, I think it's like 4.20 right now. So I have a few hours, not that I'm gonna spend three hours at the gym, but wanna get in before they close for sure. And then before I have to make dinner and stuff. So. Just put on my shoes, gonna walk there, get a little workout in, come back, make some dinner, and then kind of probably just have a chill night in. I might get a jump start on schoolwork because my sister's actually coming to the city on Thursday of this upcoming week, and she's gonna spend the weekend with me, which I'm really excited about, but I wanna make sure that I have all of my schoolwork done beforehand so that once she gets here, I don't have to worry about schoolwork and I can just spend time with her. I even took off work Friday for it. I'm just gonna try to set myself up for success, you know? We're trying to get back on track with like planning and motivation and all that jazz. All right, I'm back from the gym. I didn't get any clips of the gym because honestly it was really busy, weirdly enough, for like four o'clock on a Sunday. So I didn't get any clips of the gym, but I promise you I did go. Scout's honor. And I just got back, I took a shower, and now I'm gonna think I'm gonna lay in bed and just like hang out for a little bit. I haven't really had a chance to do this yet today. I've been go, 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 which there's nothing wrong with that. I got out of my apartment, I did some things, I explored the city, but now I'm fully ready just to like chill out in my bed and then make dinner later. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off this weekend vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the clips of the city. I'm trying to incorporate the city a bit more in these vlogs because I know it kind of gets repetitive when it's just me and my apartment. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any future videos. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.